Welcome to an exciting half hour of Caribbean Connection, featuring a look at Carnival in Boston and New York with guests Michael Smith, Justin Osborne, Cecile Ford, Rhea Smith, and her musical guest, Homie, Angela Hunt, and Michelle Montano, Shaggy, featuring Mahambe and Fionn Lyons. All this coming up on Caribbean Connection. Caribbean Connection is supported in part by a grant from the Springfield Cultural Council, a local agency supported by the Massachusetts Cultural Council. And now, your host, Jeremy Lindsay and Christine Johnson. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Caribbean Connection. My name is Jeremy Lindsay. And I am Christine Johnson. Thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of Caribbean Connection as we bring you highlights from carnivals in Boston and New York. Plus, we'll keep you entertained with some of the greatest Caribbean music. Here now is our first musical guest. This is Omi with Cheerleader. When I need motivation, my one solution is my queen, cause she stays strong. Yeah, yeah. She is always in my corner, right there when I wanna. All these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone and they say, Do you need me? I'm pretty do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, no, not really, cause oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. She gives me love and affection. Baby, did I mention she? You're the only girl for me. No, I don't need a next one. Caribbean Connection will return with Michael Smith and Justin Osborne as we look at Carnival in Boston and more music ahead from Angela Hunt and Michelle Montano. Next, for quality video productions for your business, contact Lindsay Entertainment Network. Lindsay Entertainment Network can help you produce quality and effective television commercials for your business, including corporate business video, annual report, training video, or documentary, music video, or concert video. Contact Lindsay Entertainment Network online at lindsayent.com for all your HD quality and effective video production needs at lindsayent.com. We'll continue with more music on Caribbean Connection. But first, Michael Smith, president of the Boston Carnival Village, is joining us live via Skype. As we take you to Carnival in Boston, Michael, welcome to Caribbean Connection. The goal of Carnival in Boston, um, when I spoke to the founder, uh, Ken Bonaparte Mitchell, that got it all going in 1973, uh, I believe his initial premise was to get a carnival here in Boston. He traveled every year to New York. He just thought he could bring it here to, to Boston. I had a conversation with him uh, before he passed. And I think from speaking to him, he had a bigger vision for Boston Carnival, and which is one of the things I'm trying to see if I could make that happen. And that is in sort of a way to watch it grow to a point where it could be used to give back to the community, helping uh, organizations, uh, putting uh, things like a scholarship in place for kids that wants to further their education in the arts, etc., etc. I see the carnival beyond just one or two day things where we have a party in the street and the different events that lead up to it. I believe it should be more a week of cultural activities promoting the Caribbean culture. The typical participants, uh, when I look at it year in, year out, we have the traditional diehard Trinidadians that get out there annually, put the costume together and make it happen. They're the people I call the backbone or the artisans that make it happen. But we have in all about 12 different bands in this city. And over the years, we've had participation now from the Jamaicans, the Beijing community, and uh, the Haitian community. There are several bands that are main staple of the, of the parade today that started 
as a teacher band. And over the years, they evolved into the costume thing. As as soon as they get an audience big enough, and they could bring a designer here, or they could bring a wirebender here, and they find a place where they could come together during the months of January through August to make the costumes and get them ready for the road. That will happen. There is a judging category in the Boston Carnival. They fly the judges here in here every year from Trinidad. I think about four or five of them, and they would judge the four different events. They would judge the Kitties Carnival. They would judge the uh, King and Queen show. They would also judge the Juve and the On Road Parade. It's time for more music at Caribbean Connection. Our next guest brings us some carnival music. Here is Angela Hunt and Michael Matano with Party Done. Joining us now live via Skype is Justin Osborne, one of the band coordinators for the Midas Mass Band in Boston. Justin, welcome to Caribbean Connection. My connection to the Midas, it's, it's my, my family, uh, my parents, Rudolph and Juliana Osborne. Um, they've put together, been put together the mass band since the early 90s, um, late 80s. The, the way I uh, help them with the band is I, I would act more of as an administrative coordinator in the background, help them set up the website, uh, get the word out about their costumes, um, work together with, with the designer. The typical participants, they, they, they try to find us through social media. My dad's not very computer uh, savvy, so this is where I come in, where I try to help him spread the word through social media, through Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter sometimes. Um, we've even had other people get involved with Facebook just to help spread the word. Sometimes just to name the Midas, people have known through families throughout the year that uh, my dad's from Trinidad. Um, so a lot of Trinidadians would, you know, would come by. They might stop by, visit him. His friends would help spread the, through word of mouth as well. Um, just to get people to come join the band. The competition of the parade um, is uh, for best costume, best theme idea, how well the costumes are presented, um, how well the visualization, does the costumes represent the theme appropriately. The judges would look out for how there's a visual impact of each band come down the parade look like. It's nice to see the community come together when this event does come around every year. You see all kinds of people. There's um, a lot of people along the route, uh, not just uh, the Dorchester or Roxbury area. You do see people come, come from West Roxbury, um, just the local surrounding neighborhoods in Boston, as far as even New York. People that come stay, not just for the, the day of Carnival, they come for the weekend. That might be the huge draw right there, where people celebrate the culture. The DJs, that's another element of the parade that people do uh, come out to enjoy the DJs playing the new music that comes out every year from the Caribbean. It's a great experience actually walking back to the parades because you want to see what all the costume designers, what each band presented. Uh, you want to see how it looks on people. You see the final product of, the, of all the hard work the bands have done put together where you only see the preview and band launchings. I'm most excited about the, the big costumes, the ones that really take up the road, because um, a lot of work is being put into those big costumes, because there's a lot of wire bending, a lot of feathering and gluing. And then you see the trucks, they do represent, um, not just like the different islands, but they, they do try to represent uh, different people that are known throughout the community, where they might be on the truck, they might have a local artist, he might sing a song that might get the crowd jumped up. My steel pan playing, I, anytime you hear steel pans, you just, you're just excited because you don't hear enough of it. Now for more music on Caribbean Connection, here is Shaggy featuring Mohambi with I Need Your Love. Yeah, man. Party time.
kind of love we give you coming back. If I love you, love me right back. Don't ever leave me, girl, no do me that. So please stay, don't walk away. Give me another chance to love you the right way. My true feelings push it out. Woman, you love me, can't do it all. Wishing I could hold you now When you were here for me I was not there for you I was so blind, couldn't see what you did for me Now I don't know what to do I'm a big time, but the things to leave I please don't, don't, don't Coming up, more music from Fayon Lyons Plus, we'll hear from Cecile Ford and Rhea Smith as we take you to Carnival in New York when Caribbean Connection continues. Next, for quality video productions for your business, contact Lindsay Entertainment Network. Lindsay Entertainment Network can help you produce quality and effective television commercials for your business, including corporate business video, annual report, training video, or documentary, music video, or concert video. Contact Lindsay Entertainment Network online at lindsayent.com for all your HD quality and effective video production needs at lindsayent.com. Every Saturday, WTCC presents Caribbean Culture. Three hours of nonstop Caribbean music. Join Maurice Lindsay, DJ Artman, Ed Jones, Mikey Don, and Lisa Lisa for Caribbean Culture. Every Saturday from 5 to 8 p.m. Caribbean Culture, your Caribbean music authority. Where nobody gives you more Caribbean music. Caribbean Culture, 90.7 or online at www.wtccfm.org. Every Saturday. Welcome back to Caribbean Connection. Joining us now is Cecile Ford, a member of New York Carnival Organizing Committee. Ms. Ford, thanks for joining us. Riadka is a 501c organization. This is our 48th annual event, and it is One Caribbean, One, one Love, our theme for this year. Today we'll have 42, 42 mass bands parading on the parkway and they will be in vibrant colors and costume bringing to life all the art and culture of all the Caribbean nations. At the mass camps, and that's what, where the bands originate from, they, this is where they create the costumes. These guys spend weeks, months creating, designing, putting together feathers, bending wires, and creating the beautiful designs that you will see our masqueraders, that's the people who, are, who portray the costumes are called, they are called masqueraders. And the, they spend nights and days creating these costumes, which will be paraded here for, our, for us to see and for you to enjoy as they come down Eastern Parkway. And this is just a representation of what the vibrant life of the Caribbean represents. Uh, over a million people that come in to see this carnival. It is so well known. It's one of the biggest carnivals in North America. And the other, one of the other benefits to the city is that we bring, the, we provide avenues for young people to create through the pan. We have workshops in teaching children how to create masks, how to, to put together, which is art and craft, helping kids to put to, to use their talents and develop. So we help the community in, in keeping kids occupied and involved in something that will keep them off the streets. The steel pan is a musical instrument of the 21st century, and the steel pans are encouraging young people to be part of that. They, in, during the summer months, they practice, and they, the final event is the panorama, which takes place at the museum, at the back of the museum on Saturday night, and that actually culminates all their months of practicing and rehearsing. These bands also are looking for homes and within the community in Brooklyn, but they do provide means of kids being off the streets. And we, we do this in collaboration with the steel bands through, we, are, we do other programs during the course of the year. It's not just mass, it's not just carnival, but in Riadka works on trying to help our community and work within our community. Riadka, one Caribbean, one people, one love, and this is our 48th year of 
Carnival in New York City and we would just like to say welcome and have a ball. Also joining us now live via Skype is Rhea Smith, a member of the New York Carnival Committee. Rhea, thanks for joining us. We encourage those who are enthusiastic, who are proud, who are interested, who are, who are curious, to be um, involved in and also to be part of a very festive celebration that many Caribbean islands uh, celebrate um, yearly. When we look at um, participation, we look at a number of things. Um, let's say on the parkways, for example, for costume display and the band, there is a process and a criteria in which they uh, follow on the application. Um, they come, they present their band house. It's a legitimate band house. We vet it for a number of things, and then, you know, they get their permits, they build their truck, they come on the road. But one thing that's um, an existing thread for us is to keep the integrity and the quality of not just the parade and the offerings, but the um, art itself. So the costuming, the music, um, the steel drum, the steel pan is an instrument that is the only instrument that was uh, invented in the 20th century. We're very proud of that. And those who um, create the costumes from concept design to execution, where those concepts come from, how they research it, the handwork that goes into it, and um, all of the, all of the, we call them mass makers. The mass makers are very important and, and, and just as integral as the music because this is where the art form comes into, comes to life. You know, you can't do anything without your sponsors. And if you live in the United States, you certainly can't do anything without your elected officials. <laughs> and in New York City, particularly our elected officials, particularly the local ones, have been extremely supportive over the last 48 years. We also offer the opportunity, again, for our youth and our families to be able to be represented, to be able to have a voice, to be able to have expression of freedom and culture and art and pride, and also for our youth to understand not only where they come from, but the commitment and the dedication of their elders and their ancestors and the contributions of them to um, the United States and you know the world around them. It's a phenomenal experience. Caribbean Connection continues with more music from Fayon Lyons, next. Our next artist had one of the biggest soca songs this summer. It's my pleasure to introduce Fayon Lyons performing her hit song, Raise. Meet me on the road. exciting episode of Caribbean Connection. Thanks to all of our guests and thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our program and you'll join us again next time for another episode of Caribbean Connection. <laughs>